Hi folks and welcome to a new video. Today we are testing out the new MacBook M1, MacBook Pro with the fan and when it will actually kick in. It's one of the main difference between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro is that this machine has a fan and the actual MacBook Air does not have a fan. So many of you guys ask, do you really need the MacBook Pro for heavy workload or not? So that's what I'm gonna test out today. All right, so I have a couple of tests here and let's switch to the main computer itself. So guys, so I switched over to my MacBook Pro, as you can see here with the screen recording. And for our demo purpose, we're using the Xcode Benchmark Project from Def Emi Romenko as a Maxim Romenko, I guess. Yeah, he's an iOS engineer and author of Swift Notes from Ukraine. So uh, this is used by Maxtag, uh, a famous YouTuber. I'm not sure if you know it, but he does quite good videos. So we're gonna use this project to see how the machine is doing right now. The fans are not even spinning. Yeah, they are completely still zero RPM. Temperature is pretty, pretty low as you see here. Uh, if you guys are asking, I'm using Sensei to measure these things. So let's follow the instructions and see how the build will actually do. All right, disconnect the network cable and turn on Wi-Fi. Sure. Make sure to disable all software running and startup. Connect the power adapter. So now you see the power adapter is connected. So let's start the terminal. Go to our folder with the project. So it's our Xcode benchmark project. All right, now we're in the folder. Now we're running the, the terminal benchmark in the terminal and now let's wait so the application should be building running up and let's observe how the fan will do and how the thermals are doing right now so 40 degrees celsius and the gpu is at 45 degrees celsius all right 46 degrees so a little little increase there 47 still pretty low i'm sure you can see the cpu Okay, thing is becoming a little bit unresponsive. I tried to click here on the taskbar and it did not respond, really. So CPU is, I think it's maxed out. As you see there, the cores. All right, 49 degrees. Fan are still quiet. All right, let me grab my phone and then see if we can hear something. Basically, there's silence. Fan is spinning, but you can't actually hear it. All right, 1300, 1400 RPM, so it's gaining a little bit. We are now at 53 degrees, which is pretty low. Usually with the Intel Max, you're getting around 90 to 100. Still 54, 1600 RPM, so it's spinning up a little bit more. 1800, 1900, 2000 RPM. Let's check back and see if you can hear something. Basically, no. Two thousand five hundred. Still fifty-five degrees Celsius. Not dropping down. All right, and that's it. So as you can see here, the benchmark is finished now. Build time was close, a little bit over three minutes. So let's jump back and see the comparison chart here with the newest version of Xcode. Three minutes, I guess, 180 seconds, 190 seconds somehow. A Mac Mini is 116 seconds, all right, 16 gigs of RAM. So the MacBook Air clocks in at 137 seconds. So keep in mind that my results are a little bit higher probably because I'm using a different or a couple other programs. It's closer to a real world scenario than just a clean benchmark. But guys, as you have seen, fan is now back again at zero RPM. So do you need the MacBook Pro for programming? I would say no, but if you want to be future proof and has the best performance, yes. But as you have seen, the fans are spinning, but you barely get over 55 degrees and you cannot hear the fan. So clear choice if you want to save some bucks go for the macbook air if you can afford it go for the macbook pro all right guys i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and i uh, catch you in the next one bye